when you don't have something nice to say, I've learned this. Be specific. What is your problem specifically with this one thing? Or this one person or one abstract concept? Be specific. Because if you're not specific, if your critique or your words to judge another thing are too vague or too shallow, then it says more about you than it says about the actual thing you're insulting, the object of your critique or your judgments. For example, if you were to call me an ostentatious piece of shit, what are you really saying about me? What are you saying to judge me or to critique me? Not a lot. Because lots of people are called pieces of shit. And they're all very different from one another. And there isn't a very good, like, unifying piece. Because some of those people that are called pieces of shit, they really might not be pieces of shit in a figurative sense. Obviously, we're not talking about literal pieces of fecal matter, but it usually says more about the subject because it's completely tied to the subject's opinion. And so... You're setting yourself up to be psychologized and to be deconstructed much in the same way you're trying to and failing to deconstruct the other person. So if you were to call me an ostentatious piece of shit, then... You're not really calling me much, especially because ostentatious is a $10 word that pretty much means something a 50 cent kindergarten word might really nail down to a science. But if you called me a an inarticulate neck beard with a receding hairline and a douchey personality or a jackass, okay now we're getting into the mean potatoes because you're calling me a foolish person for and I do have a receding hairline I do have a neck beard Hello. I shaved it got the five o'clock shadow right now and you're saying a lot of stuff that's really specific you're fleshing out a person. And being inarticulate, well, I really doubt that I've ever red pilled someone. I doubt anyone has ever watched my videos and become red pilled. I don't even think that was ever one of my goals. This YouTube channel, these camera rants, are more of a video journal encrypting and recording all of my day-to-day -day thoughts. So, in a way, I'm inarticulate because I haven't framed my positions in an intelligible way that can be used for proper argumentation. That doesn't happen. So, in that way... It says more about the object you're critiquing than something about yourself when you're using it. And that's what I like. I like when criticism is more devoted to the object than the subject that's making the critique. Sometimes I'll see people critique certain characters or racist, sexist, and homophobic.
and sometimes they're two for three or one for three and those vague heresy words say a lot more about the subject than it does about the actual object of critique now, don't get me wrong there are a lot of things you can assume logically from those words but really you're basically saying well, I'm a Brahmin, I'm status signaling right now by critiquing someone or some character that doesn't have the same line of thinking that I do. That's all you're saying. These headphones are pieces of shit. Fuck. How many times have they fallen out of this video? That probably makes me look more like a dumbass than anything I'm saying at the moment. But shit, you already know it's true. Be specific when you're critiquing. I go to that guy with the glasses and... I'm more interested in the catalog as a whole. I went back to like the Nostalgia Critic last year. I remember Spoonie used to be there and I fucked with Spoonie deeply. It was a big deal. I liked uh, Ben the Sage. I, I like that guy. Taught in the Shadows, Rap Critic. Uh, nostalgia Chick every now and then, even though all she really does is shout bigotry as opposed to a Nostalgia Critic who actually does a decent critique. For the most part. Well, it's too I like in... Benzai, I like Benzai too, so Ashens. There's a large category of guys in Channel Awesome and that guy with the glasses that I like. But some of the critiques, like critics, like Rap Critic, for example, they do this thing where their criticisms showcase more of what they believe than any problems with the actual subject matter. So I feel like I'm psychologizing them when I'm watching their videos more than I'm actually thinking about a thing that they're actually reviewing. A nostalgia critic, nostalgia chick, I mean, she has this problem tenfold. Because everything points that she's more annoyed by her ideology than... She's more annoyed because of her ideology and her beliefs and her insecurities then she is critiquing the subject matter. In other words, if she's saying something she doesn't like about the movie, I feel more like I'm reading a blogger talking about or writing about how triggered he or she is by a subject matter than I am an actual review. Fuck. These headphones are annoying as shit. And some people will set a signal that they're a neckbeard Brahmin by saying all the basic positions. Nickelback sucks. Creed sucks. Michael Bay can never make a good movie. Nicolas Cage sucks. All these guys suck. Justin Bieber sucks. You know, status signaling up the ass. And that's not really... What's up? But I'll get more into my critiques of critiques later on. This is just me making a general message. Anyways, this is Mr. Rocket 7, and respect the king.